Oh, cool. Another Titanite beetle. So that's that's higher than ground floor, but it's not something that I can roll off of here and get to because there's no holes. Fine, I, I I'll walk around the corner then. Uh, what, what, what can we see? Nothing? Nah, no, nothing. Right. If I wanted the best weapon for killing a Titan RB, it would probably be this. These don't run off the edge. If I run this way... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, don't run off the edge. Cool, bro. There we go. That's what we wanted. Titanite, two of them. Wow, we'll be visiting uh, Andre the Blacksmith again soon, I think. Let's see what we can do for ourselves. Oh, that's the one from down there, is it? Huh, I never turned around and looked up. I'll get, I'll get back to that one, though. Let's carry on looking through here while we've got it cleared. That guy made an incredible splatter on the wall. Dang. Wait, 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 wait. That took the dragon out with him? I didn't even see that. So I guess that other weird sound on the other side is that there's a snake man attached to the other dragon? Um, I'm guessing. Maybe he'll disappear too? Yeah, seems plausible. Oh cool, the stairs go up this side as well. Who, who designed this castle? It's like, why, why do the stairs both go that way? Doink. We got that inside bit that had the the gate. I think I can open the gate. I'm guessing with with something in here. Maybe maybe even this lever. Um. Yeah. I mean, if this is if this is the gate lever, then we've unlocked a shortcut. Nice. I like that. So now now I will continue to explore in here. Oh, hello. What? Fine, I didn't want the backstab animation anyway. It's not like it's cool or anything. Ooh, a chest. Could be a mimic, though. Let's, um, let's get rid of this fella. I'm assuming he's one of the ones that screams or rings a bell and it alerts everybody else. So that makes things safer for me. No, it's not going to do it. Fine, I'll do a heavy attack then. I don't see too many of those either from me. So what have we got here? I'm going to see if he breathes. See if he's a mimic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did kind of promise that I wouldn't be skipping these anymore so I don't lose them. So let's make good on that. But I am slightly concerned for my safety. Oh! Dark Souls 2 Mimic. Here we go. Oh, what? There's a guy. Ruining my plans, a guy. Am 
might just finish this with a spell if I can. Seeing as this guy's in the way. Get out of here, a guy. Nobody. Oh, wow, scales as well. I'm getting minted. Oh, bookcase. Good candidate for. No, I guess there's only Dark Souls 2 where there's a secret behind every bookcase. Come on. Come on. Fine. Ooh, the gardens. Excellent. Nothing can go wrong in the gardens. everywhere, bro. Now the Titanite scale. My goodness, I, 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 I wish I had to come here uh, at the beginning of the game. They were hiding all the upgrades in, in, in King Lothric's castle. I mean, I know I couldn't have got here first, but still, this is where it all was. Lothric had it all. What are we looking at down here? We got we got ourselves a Pope and a Red Eye Knight. I hear another caster down like here. Ha! Huh, there he is. Always keep your ears open. I wouldn't wander too close to my spell, bro. Else that's gonna happen. Sorry. Uh oh, Spearman. Well, let's go see what this piece of loot's all about. Yoink. Oh, Lothric Night Helm. Sick. I don't think I have one of them. Try. Hmm. Wait a minute. We still didn't solve the mystery of exactly how I get up to that second tier bit of loot. I couldn't have fallen off of there because there's a railing all along it. So how the heck? What? No, 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 no. That, that, that doesn't sit right with me. I need that piece of loot. How? Didn't I kill a beetle, like, exactly there? So why didn't I? I'm just stupid. That, the, that's, that's the reason. I am just absolutely daft. It's right here. Well, well, why... Why didn't I pick you up? What are you? Tiny night scale. Yeah, cool. So what's a good way to absolutely kick ass through this area and get that guy? Soul Greatsword might be the right idea, at least that will swing around sort of near me. Maybe cleave the guys while they're attacking me. I can get ahead of him and make him run backwards. That'd be good too. Ouch. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, it's not a good spell for killing him. Why? Oh, why? What is wrong with me? I had the perfect opportunity to kill it that I set up, and then I, I just... I was really stupid. So if I go that way, I'll get... I'll, I'll get into the snake bin. That's not what I want. So I really need to go this way. Back down to where I was. Kind of narrowed it down to two places I want to be. Directly forwards into the new keep. And downstairs in there towards whatever's going on with the, the frost guy. Yoink. Oh, I hit the pillar. Really? Uh-oh. Ooh. So close to being stamped. This close. I think we're doing all right. I think we're clearing pretty well. Haven't died in a couple of seconds. That's always great. Probably shouldn't have mentioned that. I'm I'm definitely due for a death now. Oh dear. Ah. All right. I don't have. To. I don't have to walk in there yet. Let's see what, uh... Oh, cool. I was looking at a lift earlier, and I'm all like, there's no way this goes down. It comes from up. Oh, hello. Does not open from this side. Curse you. Huh. So down here must be where is the snake? Aha! I wasn't wrong. That gruesome sound is just the snake man on the other side. Okay. I do want to kill him. I think you see me already. Look at him looking up at me. Looking up at me, looking down at him, looking up at him, looking down on him. It's crazy. Huh. Phosphor man on the roof. And yet he never shot down at me. Aye. It's his choice. It's his bolts. He knows what he wants to do with them. So we've got us a whole rooftop scene. Interesting. Oh no. Are you telling me behind the white wall is a really big one of those... Uh, monarch moths, but crispy fried. Ah, oh, that looks so, so intimidating. It's going to be like a super small arena with a really big boss that really wants you dead. It's not often you get to see what's behind the wall. I think the last time I, I remember that, quite distinctly, is when I was looking at the Iron Golem in Sen's Fortress. It's an intimidation tactic. Show, showing me the boss. Yeah, sure. Like, me, me and the snake men are so opposed that there's... It's like a, an opposing attraction. Me and him. I hate you so much, you live rent-free in my head, snake man. And spiders. <laughs> yeah. My family and his family's got so much beef. 
will it ever work out between us? There we go. Nothing, nothing left, nothing right. Anything on the ceiling? Probably. It's, uh, I don't think I, I don't think I activated the lift. To be fair, before I go in there and do anything silly, I'm pretty sure this lift here is a shortcut, and I wanna, I wanna do this now, and then have it available to me. I think so, anyway. Yeah, like, honestly, no matter whose family's arguing over what, you can go off and be with, with anyone. Like, what, is, what does it even matter? So this is this room after killing these two. So just out of here somewhere is a bonfire. Excuse me, fellas. This is the stairs. So yeah, I guess I guess the bonfire is here. There's another bonfire that's like just up there or or whatever. But we'll, we'll take this one out. So yeah, I got enough for level up. Let's do that and then walk back here and blah blah blah. Looks good. So I've got two white walls at the moment and still a third way to go. So three different directions. I'm. Um, my cup runneth over with activities, and I like it. It's a couple of times that I was sad recently that there was just basically one way to go, one one boss to run it, and that was it. I like when I've got like two or three different places. Welcome, speak very well. Then take no. Uh, let's see. Let these souls it's endurance, the more stamina. Oh wow, that gets me two in one level up. Come on. Farewell, Ashen One. Made of. Now we stamina in. Ah. Hello. I need some more shots because I kind of uh, use them all on on dragons and such. Get some more dark arrows. Done. Sold. Ashen One. Huh. We did put Albrecht on the chair, yeah. So we got Albrecht, we got the uh, Farron Knights, and we got Yorm. Just need to fill out that top one. Oh, and we've got Legless, of course. But to fill out that top one with King Lothric, and then we're, we're good. I think the only like super old books that I like are things like like Lord of the Rings and such, but also um, Discworld. Discworld's fantastic. And but if we're going with like some some really old stuff, I kind I kind of like the film adaptation of uh, Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. Now that's not bad. I wouldn't watch like regular Pride and Prejudice, but Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. That's that's a good bit of film, right there. <laughs> I want more stuff like that. Yeah, so maybe uh, Romeo, Juliet, and, and zombies. So let's see. Seeing as I'm completely and utterly free of anything, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll drop off and uh, and kill our lad here. I mean, to be honest, I should probably just shoot him. Yeah. 
That makes the dragon fade out. Awesome. Seeing it real up close this time. I do hate some of the zombie like um, films and TV shows where that's not the case though. Like they, they find somewhere and it's just like now now like a hundred seasons or several hours of film of just like drama between the survivors for absolutely no reason. Oh, it's like you go from the coolest thing, zombies, to like the worst bit of TV where people are just arguing over nothing. I don't really like that guy because he's a bit different from me. Blah, 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 blah. Like The Walking Dead, some of the seasons of that were just like a real turn off because it stopped being about the zombies. Zombies just afterthought. Just, um, yeah. I don't know. Zombies can't save like bad interperson drama plot. Oh, he breathing. He a mimic. Damn, I got 15k souls on me, and the next thing I find is a mimic. Alright. I'll bite. Dark Souls 1 Mimic. Get out the corner a little bit. Whoop. Phew. Sunlight straight sword. That sounds fun. I think I've had that in one of the other games. But yeah, the, the Walking Dead just like, ugh. I think it really stopped being good for a while around Herschel's farm. It's just like, this farm is really, really, really safe. So let's just, let's just drama for years. The soap opera part is just so unnecessary. Like, if somebody did like a, a cool cut of The Walking Dead where they just got rid of all of the trash and just kept all the cool zombie bits. That would be worth watching. Sunlight straight sword. Well, it's going to be in amongst the straight swords, that's for sure. Straight sword imbued with the strength of lightning. Wait, which is it? Is it a sunlight straight sword or is it a lightning sword? You know, just <laughs> pick a lane. This featureless longsword contains the very power of the sun. Okay, we're back on the sun again. Dawn of the Dead. Is that the one with the zombie baby in the mall? Uh, perhaps it's a relic of one-sided adoration. Skill of sunlight. Raise the sword aloft when praising the sun. Boost attack and damage absorption for self and allies in the vicinity. The warriors of sunlight are cooperators from an ancient age. Cool, so you can lift it up for morale. Nice. Yeah, if that's the is that's if that's the George Romero film where they're they're in a mall, and there's a zombie baby, and um, they, I think they use a vehicle towards the end, uh, then I liked that one. I thought that one was good. I kind of watched all the rest of them. There's a, there's one where like the zombies like form a society. The zombies end up you know they can talk and stuff, and there's two camps. There's like the humans and the zombies, and they decide to. Uh, Leave each other alone, and that one was that one was kind of interesting. You don't normally get super sentient zombies. I didn't I didn't think that was the best film. There's a there's a heck of a lot of zombie films that I like. Pretty interesting in their design. Yeah, the the speed running zombies are, are some of the best stuff. Sham shamblers are fine. I do like a good old shambler. It's nice when there's at least a mix or a lot of running zombies, and it makes it way more fun. I'm supposed to watch some Korean zombie thing, like, it's either 
something to do with Squid Game, or it's like from the same people who come out with Squid Game, which is something else I haven't seen. And there's supposed to be a lot of cool South Korean zombie films and stuff. I Am Legend, yeah, that's interesting. It's hilarious when he kind of... He kind of loses it, that one of the statues is different from where he placed it. <laughs> and that's what gets him in the trap. He just completely loses his cool over the fact that one of the mannequins is in a different spot. It just falls right into it. So those guys were pretty sentient as well, which made them kind of, kind of a lot of fun. Yeah. So I guess some of the stuff that I'm finding interesting just thinking of my own reactions here is that I find it interesting when some of the zombies aren't just stupid and there's, there's a little bit of a twist to it oh my don't, please what is this another mimic it's gonna be hard to tell without the torch Am I just looking at a wooden chest, waiting for it to breathe? It won't happen, because it's just a wooden chest. I'm just, just far too paranoid at this point. Alright, I'll bite. I'm, I'm going to trust you, chest. Oh, by night scale. Thanks. I'm not crazy. The chest is crazy. Is this another look at my, uh... Oh. What? Isn't this around the corner from the white wall that I was looking at, which had, like, an amazingly huge boss sitting here? And now it's not there? Like, what? Did I... Huh? Am I... Am I insane? Oh, cool. Small gap in the wall. Turns out to be... The way down to where those two guys were kneeling. Nice. I found a secret. Um. Hmm. Pick up this first for sure. Red tear stone ring. So that will be. If I'm remembering my tear stone ring, the blue one is like defense when you're on low health, and the red one's like extra attack when you're on low health. That's fine. I guess before I, I roll down there and grab the secrets. I will check out what this lift do. Contraption does not move. Neither does that. Whoa, okay. There's a part of the mechanism here. Alright. Doesn't really mean anything. I just wanted to look at it. This is cool. I think maybe they want me to go and defeat the boss. But I won't. I'm going to get this secret first. My secret. Uh, oh. Ow. Is there a secret within the secret? No. A little bit, um, stunned by that light that's on that tree down there. There's just one tree with like a spotlight on it. It's almost like a floodlight from a stadium is on just that one tree. And I can't quite figure out why. It's, uh, it's unsettling. Aether's Chime. Now I'm not Miracle Man, but I do kind of want to know what's going on. Sacred Chime, blessed by Keitha. Goddess of Tears. 